Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Morning Leap Session for Tuesday, November the 22nd, 2016. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-tos to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses. We create multiple hypotheses to have a plan in place for whatever the market throws at us. This is a subscription room, so if you're interested in checking it out, please send me an email at quantumleaffutures at gmail.com. There's no website, there's no blog, this is not a commercial venture. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Passport, past performance is not indicative of future results. Any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Okay, so let's take a look at the news. Uh, we had core retail sales that uh, came off at 8.30, and they came out uh, not as good as expected and not as good as prior. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we've got European uh, consumer confidence. Uh, we do have uh, existing home sales and Richmond manufacturing. It is bank holiday in Japan today. Uh, the big news, of course, is going to be tomorrow uh, on the, the Fed Minutes. Uh, that will be put out uh, later on in the, uh, the afternoon. And then we've got unemployment claims and durable goods. And then Thursday's the holiday. So, uh, you know, could, uh, could be a, a slow day. Volume is starting to, uh, to dry up a bit. Yesterday, if we take a look at uh, what our main hypothesis was, our main hypothesis was an open auction, uh, you know, just in range and then it moved down into value and somewhere within the value uh, finding uh, initiative buyers and rotating us up towards that uh, 9150 and uh, taking out and equalizing the two highs from uh, our September high and our, uh, I'm sorry, our December high and our uh, September high, which was at 91.50. We also had a hypothesis 1B, and basically the only difference with uh, with A and B was uh, how deep they rotated down into uh, the prior day. And uh, basically, we it looked like we were going to get uh, when they when they popped up here. It looked like 1B. And then when they came back down in, into the uh, range, it looked like we we're going to actually uh, start seeing hypo two, which was a false breakout, and then it moved down through value and it moved down towards that uh, that uh, 73 area. Um, what we actually got was one B. It's just they they broke out, they came back in, and then we had a beautiful foobar, Mr. Sneaky. That was the trade of the day. Uh, if you got long on that one, you could have held it the whole day. Went up. Put in the uh, the triple top. Actually, we had uh, a quadruple top. One, two, three, four, and then they came back and uh, tested the VWAP, and then they came up and broke, and then went sideways, creating a zipper, and then moved up into the 95 area and uh, chopped around in the uh, mid 90s, and then it looked like they were going to uh, run it up to the 2200. Uh, we had a zipper measured move that set up, uh, but then they sold it off into the close and we created this double distribution day. And uh, you can see that we had, uh, we put in this uh, this impulse wave, then we put in the zipper, we measured it, and the first uh, target was uh, right here at 2101.50, and they went up in the uh, Globex and hit that put in a new all-time high at 22.03, and then since then they've come back down, and we're coming back towards the uh, range high from uh, the prior day. But this zipper measured move, the extended, and I always say that extendeds are bonuses, but until we break below the 84.75, uh, this zipper measured move is still in play, and of course we've broken into uh, uh, new centennial, which is the 2200, and we're looking for the rule of 10 to kick in. So I'm still looking for that move up into the 2205 and a quarter to hit the 100% measured move, and then uh, up into the 2210. Now, does that have to happen today? No. 
Um, uh, today, we don't know yet. So let's just step back. Let's take a look at uh, our macro to micro, start looking at the, uh, the uh, long term. I like to start my day with the monthly and then the simple candlestick chart. I use a 9 EMA, 20 SMA. I'm looking for slope and separation, strength of the trend, where the uh, trend is being challenged or violated, and what, whatever continuation patterns that we have or any uh, chart patterns. Uh, so beautiful multi-year trend, challenged at the end of 15, beginning of 16, took it back. Then we uh, started this big rally. Again, I keep pointing out that uh, it's not the end of the month yet, but we are getting a falling three pattern. That is a large uh, you know, green candle, three uh, uh, falling red candles, and then a take back and a large a green candle. This is on the monthly, so this is a longer time frame uh, chart pattern, but it's something that we've got to pay attention to as we're trading uh, near the all-time highs that we just put in in Globex. Uh, trend is, uh, is strong. We're getting a slope and separation to the upside. On the weekly, you see that we had the election week and the limit down to 20, uh, 28 uh, 50, and then we took it all back, and then some, and now we're uh, starting this possible continuation pattern, and uh, we're looking for the 9 to cross over the 20 here, and, uh, and move up. This trend on the weekly does not even get challenged now until we get back down into the 21.55 area. Going to the daily, you can see we've got this parabolic move, just, uh, just prices paralleling the 9 beautifully. Good slope, good separation. Trend is very much intact. We don't challenge it until we get down to the 21.76.50 area. Going to the intraday, uh, this is a much uh, more sustainable trend. It's not parabolic. We did create a bit of a, uh, a technical gap, and we put in a FUBAR uh, Mr. Sneaky overnight. Uh, and tech gap will be a move back to the 21.93.86. Uh, I'll be looking for that possibility, especially if we break the range high from yesterday at 96.50. I'll be targeting uh, the 93.75.94 area as my first target inside of that uh, 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 range from yesterday. Going to, but the trend itself is very much intact. Going to the one hour, you can see that we did have the FUBAR. And the Mr. Uh, oh, it wasn't Mr. Sneaky, was it? It was double bottom. Uh, but we did create the technical gap. They rolled over. We're now below the 9 and the 20. So we are challenging the trend coming in on the one hour. Uh, as we move down into the lower time frames, you can see that we do have the start of a downward trend on the 30 minute. There is a naked cross right here at 2250. Mark that down in your uh, journal. That is an intraday uh, naked cross. If we get back above the, uh, the uh, 99, then I'd be targeting that naked cross to get taken out. Of course, that's uh, <coughs> a couple ticks inside uh, or above the 2200 level. Going to the 15-minute, uh, you can see that the trend uh, is uh, strong to the downside. We're failing to uh, get back above the 9. And, uh, and come up and challenge the 20. This will get challenged at 99. That fits with the move uh, above uh, for the uh, 30 minute as well, and a possible move to the uh, naked cross at 2250. But the trend is down on the shorter time frames. And then the five minute, you can see we've been trending down basically since Europe, uh, Europe opened. They started uh, move, working this down. We've just been uh, you know, moving down lower and failing to hold above the 9 or the 20. We're currently below the 9 and the 20 with slope and separation, but we are coming up to challenge it. So we are seeing some weakness as we move closer to the uh, uh, longer time frame, but, you know, the, that's not a big deal because if you look at the daily on the RTH session, You know, we, we came up here, we accepted balance just before the breakout at 21.60.50, then we broke out, we accepted balance higher in around the 73, we moved up and, uh, and moved up again, then we accepted value at, uh, at 80, and then we got a continuation day into new uh, 
uh, all-time highs. Uh, the all-time high for the RTH is up at 21.9650. But we have a uh, now we have <clears throat> we talked about this for uh, for a while with the uh, different contracts where we had an unequalized high between the September contract and the de December contract. Now we have an unequal high, uh, unequalized high between the RTH and the uh, Globex. And just like the uh, the uh, the two uh, month contracts or the separate month contracts, same thing applies here where we've got this unequalized high that was put in the Globex. It will not hold the RTH will go up there and take it out. Now, doesn't always mean that it's always something we have to think of and the risk is still to the upside, but we've made this parabolic move up and there's nothing to say that uh, today, Tuesday, we you know go up and take it out uh, today. Um, <coughs> We have to, you know, we have to. I'd be looking for it to be taken out if we can break inside of the t uh, above the 2200 and hold. But uh, there would be nothing for us to move back and come back towards this 80 level, possibly even the uh, the 74, 75 level, uh, just to uh, pick up buyers. We're probably going to be running out of some inventory, but you know. This is just, this is a very, very strong move. I mean, think about it. Uh, up to 22.03, off of the limit down at 20.28.50, we've moved 174.50 without any serious pullback. Our largest pullback was this day right here. And even then, okay, we continued the trend. We've got lower high. Uh, Higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. We have not challenged any of these low. We are one time framing up on the uh, on the daily and uh, and continuing this move. So this has been a very strong move. I think when we do get a pullback, the pullback is going to get uh, is going to be rather strong, and it's probably going to come back and engulf. Uh, uh, you know these two candles here and come down to the uh, the 73 area at least if not engulf this you know this last uh, you know five days of trading and come down here and test the 66 and break in uh, inside of this longer term value area but we don't know I mean this can you know, you know we're in a weird uh, weird market where they just uh, the buyers just like this market right now. Who said Trump was going to uh, to crash the markets? Uh, it just didn't happen. And this is looking a lot like Brex, okay, or Brex Brexit, uh, where they just didn't look back. They just kept going, and uh, you know who knows. Anyway, so let's take a look at uh, the overnight. Uh, we had double distribution yesterday. Overnight we had a uh, a uh, almost a F shape, but I'm calling it a P shaped. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is short covering, um, <clears throat> and uh, we've got an LVN right here. No surprise, it's right at 96.75, which is basically the range high from yesterday. So that is going to be uh, one of our key levels today. Uh, of course, we've got the 2200, uh, and above that, 22 and uh, 220475 and 2210. Um, I'm sorry, this daily ATR is going. This is not going to stay there. Sorry, we have the all-time high. I thought I put it in there already. Already, so the all-time high is 2203. Actually, I'm going to use this. Okay, <clears throat> and then uh, so far overnight, and that just happens to be, and I, uh, uh, I'll put it on there as well, that's our Globex high. I'm just going to move that to the back yeah, so that you can see it. And then 92 and a quarter is our overnight low. 
which is right at the uh, the closing swing low and right at the LVN. Believe it or not, this is going to be our uh, a trade level as well. And then uh, our VPOC is not likely to shift. We put a lot of volume in up here at uh, at the uh, twenty. 201. That will be our first target above uh, 2200. We do have that naked cross on the 30 minute though at 2250. Uh, um, and then there's really not a lot of other information. There's a little bit of an LVN right here at 9950. Um, you know, I'm going to be looking at that 99 area. But it's not something I'm, you know, unless I get something strong to trade off of, I'm not really going to try to take it. It's all going to be about whether or not we gap and go or whether or not we come back inside and test the upper distribution if we break the 92 coming down into uh, the 97.5. So <clears throat> what is our hypothesis for the day? Well, right now uh, we are sitting on the top of the uh, uh, range above it. We've got 30 minutes to go. If we open up outside of range, we could get uh, initiative buyers stepping right in and getting an open drive. Um, that's going to be hypo 1B. But hypo 1A, and I think we've got to pull back here, and usually when you dip into, uh, into a uh, you know, centennial number that's never been tested before and put in a new all-time high. They'll have some type of a pullback just to, uh, to, uh, to uh, punish the longs that got long above 2200. So my main hypothesis is an open auction just in range or just out of range and they move down into the upper distribution there is a little bit of an LVN right here at 94.75, so I'm going to be watching that area for the first possible uh, buyers stepping in, but I'm really looking for them to come down and take out this naked close at the uh, 92.75, which is just above the, uh, the uh, LVN, and then uh, I'm looking for initiative buyers to step in here and then start walking us up through to the 2200. And I'm looking to chop in this 2200 going into, uh, into tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is Fed Day. We're probably going to get some balancing uh, today, <clears throat> whether we balance between the 92 and the 2203 is my main hypothesis. But if we break below, so hypo one is an open auction just out of range or just in range and a move down to test 92.75, maybe a dip to the 90.75, find buyers and come up and shop between the 22.03 and, uh, and the 92.75 uh, and just get a, 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 a sideways day as we uh, mature the auction. Hypo 2 is an open auction just out of range or just in range and a move up and either a failure to get above 2200 or a false breakout but not taking out the 2203 and finding responsive sellers rotating us down, testing, chopping between the 90 and the 92 and then failing and coming down towards the 84.75. I'm going to be watching this uh, this level here at uh, 86 and then below that 84.75 is going to be my target and then I'll be looking for continuation down towards the 80. Our uh, warning line for lower price discovery is going to be the 76.75 and we'll be targeting and this is not going to be a strong target anymore. It is going to be there at the 74.75. Why? Because we had a uh, microcomposite VPOC uh, there uh, last time we broke out, and that will be uh, area, but I'm really targeting the 73 area and a move back into uh, this balance right here. So hypo 2 is an open auction in range or an open auction out of range, a move up, failure to hold the 2200, Responsive seller stepping in, coming down, 
trading through the upper distribution, chopping in between the, uh, the uh, uh, two distributions, and then failure, coming down and testing the value area low, chop and get elite day probe down towards this. That is hypo two. Hypo three is an open drive and a move up. Chop around in the 2203 area, put in a new high, and then push up into the 2210. Let's take a look at our daily ATR targets. Our overnight low is 2192 and a quarter. Our uh, daily ATR upside target, is our range is uh, 2648. That gives us a daily ATR upside target all the way up here at the 22.18.75. Off of the high overnight at 22.03 minus the 26.48, our daily downside ATR target is up at 76.50. So just below our, uh, our warning line. In fact, I'll make the warning line right on top of the daily uh, ATR because, you know, we get down there, we're likely uh, to challenge it. Uh, so hypo three is a open drive, a gap and go day, and a push up and uh, make new highs and come up towards the 2210, maybe even up into the 18 and close somewhere between the 1875 and the 03 and chop around in here uh, and uh, create balance. Hypo 4 is a uh, take back Tuesday and a uh, failure to get above 2200, push down, trade through, through chop and then push down and come down and end up down here towards the 21, uh, 2166 and coming back to test the value and having a bearish engulfing day and engulf these last uh, three days here and come down and then uh, you know find buyers down here and then close somewhere uh, between the 73 and the 66. So those are my four main hypotheses. Currently right now we're above the range, we're above the Keltner center line, a move up to the upper Keltner line will give us a new all-time high. We do have our measured move at the uh, the 22.05 and a quarter, so I've got to put that in. What was it, 84? Uh, I think it's 84 and a quarter. That's when it gets violated. Uh, just let me look at that for a second. 84.75. Okay. So that is going to complete our pre-market session. Uh, remember, we're, uh, we're near all-time highs. Risk is still to the upside. Uh, but I think that we could get some rotation uh, today. Uh, and uh, if we get below that 92, target the 90.50, and then we also be targeting the 88.50 uh, here. That's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.